know how many pussies out here that don't nobody want? <gasps> What? It don't matter how you dress it up or try to give it away. It's, don't nobody want it? We live in Atlanta. Look how many women out here got high quality pussy to tap you like. You ain't gonna be able to fuck them. So much pussy in this city, they can't possibly give it all away. Well, I'm not with nobody, cause I don't wanna hurt nobody. Did it over text, didn't call me. Still got love for your mommy. I know you wanna be somebody, even if you gotta leave somebody. Y'all ever heard of Carlos Miller? He went viral maybe a couple months ago. This was his breakdown of pretty much dating in Atlanta. So I gave him his own video. So let's listen to what he says about the women in Atlanta. Here we go. I mean, because I keep it so real with you. Do you know how many pussies out here that don't nobody want? <gasps> what? It don't matter how you dress it up or try to give it away. It's, don't nobody want it? <laughs> we live in Atlanta. Look how many women out here got high quality pussies to tap you like. You ain't gonna be able to fuck them. Because you don't have time to meet them. Mm. Right? I'm too weak. It's so much pussy in this city, they can't possibly give it all away. You heard all the excuses women make for not being able to find a nigga in Atlanta. It's more niggas in Atlanta that like women than anything. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. And I highlighted Atlanta, Georgia. 4.6%, approximately 194,000 LGBTQ members in Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia. Georgia is not the mecca of LGBTQ, saying that there's so many gay black men out there. Gay black men. In actuality, there's not. No matter what society tries to push towards you, the movies and things of that nature, there's a small percentage of gay black people and also a smaller percentage of gay black men than there is black women. It's you! Yeah. It is you! Nobody cares how good you look, how successful you are. It is you. Mm. You just not the type of chick that niggas in Atlanta like. Move to San Antonio. Not San Antonio. You not the shit in Atlanta. You feel entitled to a nigga. Oh, I'm a good woman. Who validated this? <laughs> <laughs> Show me some notarized paperwork that proves what the fuck you're saying is true, ma'am. I can Niggas in Atlanta be like your niggas too, but ain't nothing okay, wrong with that. But ain't nothing wrong with that This is why we need shit like this. Well, you know the type of clown ass women in Atlanta? Mm -hmm. There's some fucking weird ass women out here. And don't nobody never talk about them. You know why? Because we too busy going to find ones who not weird. Mm -hmm. It's some weird ass ladies out here. Mm. And they be like, y'all be inviting women to y'all crib? Mm. No, do you know how many weird ass people I had to make sure they don't even follow me when I leave they ass tonight? Mm. Like, I hope I never see her again. They what makes one weird? Okay. Some of these chicks out here are lame as fuck. They lame and they do shit like they idolize fucking women on social media. <laughs> They're like, don't nobody want to fuck with a bitch who got to look up to another bitch. You got a hero. <laughs> what is wrong with you? That's real. That's real. No, but I think I don't no hero, nigga I want like no, I a hero don't is no wild. Man want a little follower ass bitch. I said this uh, a couple weeks ago. If men were more vocal in regards to what women are, you know, are actually like on the dating market, y'all would be surprised. Because women, you guys get the good version of what she did right. She's always the victim. When a relationship ends, the man did everything. He did this, he did that. But I promise you this. If you ever got a chance to speak to her exes, they will tell you the truth about your friend. Because y'all don't ever hear that. Because men, we let a woman go on social media, complain about what the man did and he did me wrong. He cheated on me and we just let it cook because I mean, it's not a masculine thing for men to be going back and forth on social media with a woman about what she did. But I promise you ladies, if you ever got a chance to talk to your homegirl's exes in secret and private, you'd be surprised. A lot of these women ain't right. Bae, I'm not in the mood. Please get away from me. Bae, where you going? Ba bae, 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 where you going? Bae, I was just playing. You, you were gonna leave me, you don't want me. I <laughs>
<laughs> they crazy out here. He was spot on. So I'm just letting you guys know. I understand that that's your friend, that's your girlfriend, all that type of stuff. And she was like, he was wrong. But I promise you, she ain't telling you the whole truth and nothing but the truth. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey. And that's why I think these uh these spaces, these male-centric spaces are kind of a wake-up call and women don't like them because they hear men telling the truth about them. And they're like, y'all ain't supposed to be talking like this. I liked it back in the day when men just shut the hell up and didn't say anything. Now we got mics, we got cameras, and we can talk just like y'all talk. Nobody's telling you to tune in, but while you here, oh, you're going to get some of this good truth. Here's a couple of videos. <laughs> and ladies, I did not leave you, leave you out. We got some men, we got some women, and this is how they describe dating in atlanta my car fast my trip better my clothes fit better my homes better my tattoos better let me go back he said when they find out you don't have a degree and they do this shit was hilarious oh i didn't cuss again there we go let me write that down here we go i'm better than you my shape up better my car faster my trip better my clothes fit better my homes better my tattoos better i'm stronger than you my bitch thicker than yours my guns bigger than yours nigga my guns bigger than yours i talk better than you i hustle better i can get a dollar quicker than you i talk better i walk better my shoes fit me better <laughs> that's how they be in atlanta when the women find out that, that a man ain't got a degree they throwing it all in his face hey i do this better than you <laughs> see ladies see women Pay attention. You educated girl. I don't be throwing my my education and my degrees in these men faces. I don't tell them that just because I make 120,000 and he makes 80, I'm better than him. <laughs> Under them comment section, every dude was like, "Facts. <laughs> what y'all doing in that letter?" So let's go. Ladies, this was for you. Here we go. Y'all. <laughs> But wait, before this video starts, let me say this. This is a, a you know, attractive young woman, right? Listen to the caliber of men or men who left uh, a voicemail on her phone. Does this sound like an upstanding gentleman? Hold on. <laughs> Here we go. Damn, you want Wayne man, deep, man. Think about this. If he didn't come away with five. She seemed like she liked it. Did she seemed like she enjoyed that? That dude sound unhinged as hell. He he said, "You even though you fine," and she got happy. Hey, ladies, <laughs> y'all tell me, did that brother sound like he was a uh an upstanding suit and tie wear? <laughs> but she seemed like she liked that. So. And that's what these men be telling y'all about. Like, I think women are attracted to the poops. You know what I'm saying? And the nug nugs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we already know that. So, I mean, it is what it is. But, yeah, she seemed like she was enjoying that. She did a TikTok with it. Wait, hold on. Hey, this brother goes off. He got a, it, I think this rant is about two minutes. So, let, let him cook. Let him get this off his chest. Do not come to Atlanta expecting to fall in love. Atlanta is the worst place you ever want to date. Dating in Atlanta is complete trash. Everybody on bullshit, everybody playing games. If you move to Atlanta, just focus on whatever you came in for, focus on your career, focus on whatever dream you chasing. Do not come down here to Atlanta thinking you about to meet somebody and fall in love and live happily ever after. Cause these women in Atlanta, they do not want no relationship. They want free meals, free drinks, free VIP sections, free hookah, free interest. Hell, they even want Jesus. free parking. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these women shit, they living off of 
dates. They living off going on dates. They don't eat unless they go on a date. So they'll go on a date with you Monday, somebody else on Tuesday, somebody else on Wednesday, somebody else on Thursday, somebody else on Friday. And that's how they eating every day because they going on dates, wasting people's time. And if she got her body done, bro, I don't even waste your time. You know what I mean? Because these women down here, if they got their body done and they, they materialistic and all that, they ain't looking for love, man. They looking for a come up. You know what I'm saying? You want to find you a good woman, somebody who, who was raised by a grandma or something. Don't come down here to Atlanta thinking you about to find you somebody that's going to treat you right and do you right and all that because these Atlanta women, I'm telling you, man, they full of games. You know what I'm saying? They looking for a come up. They ain't looking for love. So I'm telling you, do not think you're going to come to Atlanta and fall in love and find you a good woman because dating in Atlanta is trash. Everybody just trying to come up. Everybody just trying to get a bag. Everybody just trying to see who they can use to get to the top. Ain't nobody in Atlanta looking for love, man. It's trash down here. Everybody playing games. Everybody full of shit. Hey, bro, going off, ain't he? <laughs> Let him cook. Let him cook. So, if you live in Atlanta or you come to Atlanta, do not come here thinking you about to find you a good woman or and you about to live happily ever ever because that ain't, that ain't where it's at. You know what I'm saying? And I won't say it's all Atlanta women because a lot of people move here. But I, I don't know what it is. It's, I guess people get here and then they just be on bullshit. So, it could be... You know, people that move to Atlanta that's on bullshit, or it could be the women that was born and raised here. I don't know, but don't come to Atlanta thinking you about to fall in love. You better go somewhere like, I don't know, Mississippi or North Carolina, South Carolina, or something like that. If you want to find you a woman who ain't trying to play games or whatever, and, and if she got all the real original body parts, you you lucked up. If she got a body done, don't even waste your time, bro. She ain't looking for love. She's looking for a come up. I miss Dave. <laughs> Hey, it bro just hey yeah, he cooked, did he? <laughs> hey, I just let him go. I just let him go. And it was longer than that. I had to cut him off. I think he did like a five minute rant. So <laughs> T Peter says that zero lies detected. <laughs> Here goes one of y'all favorite personalities, Jesse Wu. <laughs> I did this for a reason because I know y'all don't like Jesse Wu. <laughs> Here we go. This is what she has to say about dating in Atlanta. Dating in like New York. I feel like Atlanta, everybody's dating the same three Africans. It's just, <laughs> it's a lot going on. I don't see girls getting so their wig like beat Africans, off. So you like Africans is what you're saying? I'm not, I'm not saying, well, I love Africans. I love okay. Caribbean men. I love okay. African men. I love black men, period. Okay. You know, black men, they taste seasoned. They, you know, they wash their legs and they do shit like that. That, you know, that's very appealing to me. But yeah, I feel like in Atlanta, the Africans done took over the <laughs> dating scene and everybody's dating the same three Africans. Which Africans though? Two of them are from Nigeria. One is from Ghana. Okay. Them niggas got the dating scene in a chokehold. <laughs> them so niggas so got wait, the dating scene. Yo, literally there was a girl who lived in my building I used to be cool with. Literally was dating an African who lived in the same building. I'm talking about we, I done been at, to his apartment with her, done sat down, ate some jollof rice. It was spicy as hell. That's why I prefer Ghana jollof <laughs> instead of Nigerian. Okay. But back to the point. So they was in a relationship. Well, one day she, so, she shows up she comes home to the building. He shows up to her front door, and his real girlfriend was waiting for her Ooh. at her door. His real girlfriend, who his apartment was under her name because his profession, well, I ain't gonna get into all that. And make a long story short, her wig was beat off of her. By, and her ro by his real girl. girlfriend and her, her, his Rolex, the Rolex that he gave her was also beaten off her as well. No. So I said, you know what? Yeah, y'all got to let these three African niggas go. All right. You say, hey, <laughs> three African dudes got Atlanta in the chokehold, don't they? <laughs> two from, what's you say? Two from Nigeria and one from Ghana. So I told you, hey, African brothers out there spinning that bread and they running through them. <laughs> He was mad. We're going to continue. This is funny, man. <laughs> What's going on in Atlanta? <laughs> thing I noticed is a lot of girls are out here trying to manifest rich men that they don't even understand that just because a man got money don't mean he's going to give it to you. I know a lot of millionaires and billionaires. Yeah, so that was a point that I, I made and I told men a while back. When a girl knows that you have money, that don't mean that you're going to get it. That she's not going to get it. You don't earn money to give it to women. You earn money to attract women. So I'm glad she said that. But this other stuff she said was kind of wild. So let, let's continue. There's out here that they have the money. They're just not going to spend it on you. OK, so what you want to start writing down and manifesting is generous. Manifest. <laughs> 
wise men, thoughtful men, men that care about, you know, different things that you want to invest into. This is the key tip to seeing if a man is generous or not. If you tell him, oh, I'm about to go get my hair done or I'm about to get my nails done or I want to start this business or whatever. And he don't ask you how much you need. You need to keep it pushing because he's not that. I was. Uh oh. And look, I'm going to just tell you all like this. Y'all see the young ladies that I got from these videos. They all gorgeous. So, I mean, I don't think that's the problem. And, and at, <laughs> I don't think the problem is the looks of the women in Atlanta. I think it's the expectations or the attitude of the women in Atlanta. Because, look, what, what are you saying? Uh, who is that? I just seen something. Tony said chocolate can get the business deed. <laughs> hey, she was, she was attractive. They had that little tattoo on the titty. You know, it is what it is. So I definitely caught it. Chest tattoo. She is disqualified for anything serious. Hey, I don't think Tony was talking about uh, marrying a woman. Hey, he was talking about sneaking in. So <laughs> I don't think it has anything to do with the looks of the women in Atlanta. It's just everything outside of that. But yeah, but this other young lady, listen to her. She's a, a gorgeous young woman. There we go aware that the dating pool has piss and boo-boo in it but i didn't know what extent so i was at target the other day and someone came up to me like let me take you out and you know me i'm like okay let me check my schedule and you just let me know where and i'll pull up he gonna say you the one with the car <laughs> you know i laughed it off because that's my defense mechanism but i thought in my head i said this fool want me to take him out <laughs> you know i did not sign up to be a chauffeur i would much rather be in the friend zone i am good i don't need to go out that bad <laughs> no thank you okay <laughs> So I guess that's one of them stories, because I swear women be lying when they be like, dudes don't even be having a car and expecting you to drive them around. And I'm like, Wait, where the hell y'all meeting guys like that? There you have it. So, <laughs> so yeah, so old, bro, old boy wanted her to drive around. But yeah, so that was the video that I wanted, the videos that I wanted y'all to see from uh, <laughs> from Atlanta dating scene. So Y'all let me know in the comment section, were they off or were they spot on? Because in my opinion, from the, from the man side, um, and I said this a couple times, but I just, I don't think that it has anything to do with the women being attractive. I think Atlanta has some of the most gorgeous women in, in the United States, but outside of them being beautiful and being, you know, attractive and nice bodies, it may be some other underlying things is holding them back and why men consider the Atlanta dating market trash. And then also on the women's side, from what I noticed from the videos is that men have a lot of options, and that turns off a lot of women. And especially in Atlanta, there are a lot of women as opposed to men in the black community, let's just say. And it seems like if a man has his stuff together, he has more than enough options to do whatever the hell he wants on the dating market. And that upsets a lot of women. If I'm off in my assessment, y'all can let me know. But that's what I gathered from the videos and from the, the information that you guys have given me. So as I see it, let me know. Go ahead and make sure you click that link, get you some Tease Handley, and support the Media Man YouTube channel, and also support Tease Handley.